This is a lab exercise captured on video, on the topic of interferometric SAR, taken from the Lab 4 of the Dreamcatcher ME1510 University courseware. We are going to understand the working principles of interferometric SAR, and perform interferometric SAR processing. In this lab experiment, we are going to measure the point target by using the Dreamcatcher ME1510 radar imaging training kit and MATLAB to perform interferometric SAR. The ME1510 training kit consists of embedded imaging radar module, linear scanning platform, horn antenna, corner reflectors and PC-based GUI software. A linear scanner is provided as the moving platform for the imaging radar system. This enables the radar training kit to perform translational scanning mechanism for imaging radar operation. The imaging radar module consists of a C-band RF transceiver and a radar processor. The radar processor consists of a data acquisition unit and high-speed single-board computer for raw data digitizing as well as SAR signal processing. A PC-based GUI software is also provided allowing user to configure the radar for various operations. A C-band horn antenna is employed to perform monostatic radar configuration two types of corner reflectors, that is trihedral corner reflector and dihedral corner reflector, are included as external man-made targets for radar measurements. Before the measurement begins, connect the SMO connector, of the ME1510 imaging radar training kit, to the horn antenna, via RF coaxial cable. Power on imaging radar kit. The linear scanning platform will perform an auto-homing sequence as part of its initialization process. Then, boot up the high-speed single-board computer in the embedded imaging radar module. On remote computer, set the IP address and the subnet mask of the Ethernet port to 192.168.1.101. And 255.255.255.0, respectively. At the top right corner of the GBSAR GUI, ensure that the IP address is set to 192.168.1.100 in the TCP IP setting column and press the connect button. The status of the TCP IP will change to 192.168.1.100 connected, whereas the status of the RF module will change to ready. For the first experiment, we will perform the repeat pass in SARE experiment. Place the external target, trihedral, about 3 meters away, at the middle of the scene to be scanned. Mark the zero position of the trihedral, before the scan. Press the home button to move the antenna, back to its home position. Once ready, press the scan button. Add a description for this experiment in the confirm scan window, and start the scanning process by clicking the OK button. The range profile for each of the scan will be recorded, and displayed in the GBSAG UI window. Once the scanning process is completed, the measurement data, raw underscore data dot CSV, will be saved in the subfolder, with the naming format, year, month, date underscore, hour, minute, second, based on the local date and time of the remote computer. Go to the menu bar, click on tools followed by quick view, SAR, to display the synthetic aperture radar, SAR image in a 2D plot. Repeat the scan with the trihedral position, at a distance of 3.01 meters, plus 1 centimeter. Then, plot the SAR image again. The difference of both the SAR images is hard to differentiate due to the slight changes.
Now, go to the menu bar, click on Tools followed by Quick View, in SAR image, to display the Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR. Select the first setup as the reference, and the second setup as the main. Significant phase change is observed when the target is placed at a slightly different position. The phase change is due to the two way range difference from the SAR antenna to the target. When there is no displacement, for example, for the case master image equals to reference image, the phase change is zero. For the second experiment, we will perform the single pass in SAR experiment. Repeat the test by placing an external target single target, about 3 meters away, at the middle of the scene to be scanned. Make sure the antenna, is positioned at 0 millimeter. Then, perform the scan. Repeat the scan by elevating the position of the antenna, to positive 10 millimeters. Now, go to the menu bar, click on Tools followed by Quick View, in SAR image, to display the Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR. Select the first setup as the reference, and the second setup as the main. By scanning the same area, with a slight difference in the sensor position, an extra phase difference is introduced by a stereoscopic effect. The INSAR fringes are related to the topography of the area under illumination, which can be further processed, to calculate the topographic height, and to produce a digital elevation model, DEM.